Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, let's get into this story. This was one I really uh, regretted. I was hoping that, you know, I know I can't, I keep, I was holding out hope that this penal colony would not be an option. I was hoping that something would have transpired before Brittany was transferred. But that didn't, it didn't quite work out that way. So, WNBA star Brittany Griner will be transferred to a Russian penal colony. The modern evolution of the gulag. Soon. Brittany Griner's lawyers say that the convicted WNBA star is being transferred to a Russian penal colony, despite initial reports suggesting it could take many more weeks for her to transfer. I mean, they told them that, right? But of course, they don't have to keep their word. Never do. In a statement to CNN, her lawyers, Maria Blago. Blagovolina and Alexander Volkov said that they are unaware of Brittany's exact location, which is customary for such a transfer in the Russian prison system. Once Griner arrives at the penal colony where she will, is to serve her nine-year sentence, her attorneys and the United States government will be notified by official mail of her location, which will be several weeks. An article from the New York Times main, I mean, details that the Russian penal colonies are modern-day versions of gulags. Though the conditions are far better than gulags, the Times report that they are still overcrowded and in poor conditions with previous survivors suggesting basic amenities like hot water, basic medication, proper clothes are often unavailable. <clears throat> and then given what her size, her size and height, um, it, it's definitely going to be a problem. It's definitely going to be a problem for her. CNN reports that most inmates are required to perform manual labor while in prison as well. According to ESPN, the conditions where Griner was in Moscow jail awaiting her trial are far better than those penal colonies in Russia. Our primary concern continues to be BG's health and well-being said Griner's agent, Lindsay Colas. As we work through this very difficult phase of not knowing exactly where BG is or how she's doing, we ask for the public support in continuing to write letters and express their love and care for her. Why Brittany Griner is in a Russian prison is still hard to believe because she was arrested at the airport in February with very small amounts of cannabis oil. But it is illegal in Russia. In a lengthy judicial proceeding, Griner pleaded guilty to drug smuggling charges, but, dis but qualified her admission with a statement suggesting it was an honest mistake that she had made. After her conviction, she appealed, and that appeal was denied. The only recourse to bring Griner home now is for the United States government to intervene. Shortly after her arrest in February, the Russian-Ukrainian political conflict took off, which many viewed as an opportunity for Russia to use Griner as a political pawn. In the forthcoming months, it was suggested that Russia was trying to use her as leverage 
as well as other imprisoned Americas to secure Victor Bout, a Russian arms dealer who has earned the infamous nickname the Merchant of Death. President Joe Biden released a statement in August saying, my administration will continue to work tirelessly and pursue every possible avenue to bring Brittany and Paul Whelan home and do it as safely as possible. Uh, Mark Fogel, well, Paul Whelan, you might not know who he is. He's also from Canada, Ireland. Uh, he's, um, according to CNN, and he's been in prison on espionage charges. In April, another American, Trevor Reed, was free, and Whelan was not. But at the time, Griner's court proceedings had not yet concluded. Mark Fogel is another American who has been sentenced to 14 years for traveling with medical marijuana. Russian laws make no distinction between recreational and medical marijuana that he uses to treat spinal pain. Fogel has not been mentioned by the United States government as a priority to get released. A lot of people are upset about that. Wow. Well, all I can say is we're praying for you, Brittany, and we hope that you come back home soon. Uh, because it's one thing to be in jail, but to be in jail in a foreign country, in a penal code, or somewhere you could be in Siberia next, or that's what one of these places can be, You nobody knows where you are. Um, nobody, nobody, nobody deserves that. No, but at least they need to be home around their loved ones. If you're going to put me in jail, at least, my goodness, oof, she's a political prisoner. And all I can say is um, my prayers to your family and to you. This ain't looking good at all.